morning everybody and welcome back to my channel i'm gonna try to not cough i'm still slightly sick i took the week off i'm sorry there was no video on wednesday and thursday i did update you guys on my instagram but if you weren't following me there i feel like you wouldn't have known um i was really sick from tuesday until really like yesterday i started to feel better um and i feel better today other than the fact that i have this like slight cough and my nose is still a little bit runny stuffed up that kind of situation but i feel like i'm good enough to get back to filming videos for you all so here i am i am back hello i'm sorry i was sick <laughs> i haven't been sick in two years i don't think i've taken a sick day in two years but in that time i did get my ipad I've been having the best time sick on my ipad okay i've just been creating things on procreate i've been digitally planning which is what i wanted to show you guys right now and start up this vlog talking about because it is like my new favorite thing i'm never buying a paper planner again okay digital planning is where it's at all of y'all need to start digital planning though i know ipads aren't cheap but i'm just saying if you have an ipad already start digital planning it's like the best thing ever so i have the ipad air for um fourth generation in green as you can see i have this like really nice case on it that is from amazon i really like this case a lot because it fits your apple pencil in it as well and when you close it it like locks and then you can open it i love that and the back is clear so you can see the apple logo so i thought i would give you guys like a little walk through of my ipad also i haven't self tanned because i've been sick so i'm super pale Okay, I'm just not doing my best. We're gonna have to do a glow up routine, maybe this Sunday. I'm hoping by Sunday I'm gonna feel 100%. So I'm hoping to do a glow up then, cause um, I just am not looking. <laughs> yeah, I look like I've been sick for a week. <laughs> this cough, I hate like the lingering part of a sickness. You know when you feel better, like you don't feel sick anymore but you just have this like random cough or something that lingers forever after you're done getting better like i always get that or the stuffed nose one of the two and i'm like can you just go away so i can feel better i set this up on the tripod so y'all can see my ipad we're just gonna do like a little walkthrough so first up we have my home screen i got a lot of questions about how i made this etc so this i made on canva and I basically just copy and pasted pictures from Pinterest into here to make it made it the size of an iPhone screen and then just airdropped it to my, sorry, size of an iPad screen. And then I just airdropped it to my iPad. And that's my little home screen. And then this is my home screen. Sorry, that was my lock screen. <laughs> this is my home screen. So we have the weather. I have <laughs> some reminders here, which are just like reminders to myself. So I just wrote out some things to remind myself daily. Not things I'm going to like check off or anything like that. I have my planner for that. Then here I just put um, a thing from Pinterest, which just like every hour it switches to a different quote from my Pinterest board. And then I just have my Google calendar here. <laughs> and then for apps, I just have Pinterest, GoodNotes, Procreate, Reminders, Google Calendar, YouTube, Spotify, and Netflix. And that's literally it other than the ones that are like given to you. Um, I didn't want to add social media really on to here like Instagram or anything that's going to be distracting because this is mainly for like creative and work purposes. I got this iPad. So it's really for me to just create things, do work stuff on GoodNotes, um, emails, check my YouTube videos, that kind of stuff. Though I do have Netflix in case I ever travel with this. It's just a lot easier to watch Netflix videos on this. My two favorite apps are obviously GoodNotes and Procreate. Procreate, I've just been drawing, as you can see. I was doing this sketch last night just for fun, um, but I've just been like diddling around. Diddling, <laughs> that's a great word. Um, so I made little like titles for like my videos, um, which are really cute. I made some like end screens stuff like that. I did this like picture of Millie Which is so cute this actually like I'm not gonna be like oh I drew this by hand So with this you like import a picture into the background and then what I did was trace the outline of Millie and like just her key features like her eyeballs her nose, etc and then I did all of the shading in like line work myself, which I think turned out really cute. I kind of want to get this like framed or something because I really like it of her. I think she looks adorable. So I've been really enjoying using this just for like creative purposes. And then for good notes, these are like my three little planners. So both of my planners here are by Flourish Planner. I'm going to have her Instagram on the screen here. And also I'm going to link down below. Um, 
her shop for digital planners. I love her stuff. I was actually recommended one of her YouTube videos and I started watching them and it made me really want to start digital planning. So the one I've been using is this one, which is just the daily planner. And I got it in the dark mode. So I like to write in like fun colors and stuff on this one. It's kind of like writing on a chalkboard. So it basically you have today's date, you have your morning routine checklist, to-do list, night routine checklist, today's affirmation, three things I'm grateful for, healthy habits, and then reminders. So you can see some of my old ones that I filled out like here. I just kind of like update it just to write out like what I need to do, etc. And then I also made myself, I'm not gonna open this one, but that's just my work planner. I made it myself, it's literally just lined paper and I'm using it just to keep tabs on like brand deals and stuff that I just have going on so that I'm not like completely overwhelmed and I can just have it all written down in one place. So I have that. And then this is her new planner. She actually just sent me this. We were messaging each other on Instagram and she came out with this weekly planner. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like a work-life balance planner. It's really cute, it has all these different like title pages that you can pick from. Um, she has like a little user's guide, shortcuts guide, which is really cute. And then you basically have a weekly dashboard. So I'm gonna start this on Monday because I'm right now in the middle of the week, so it doesn't make sense for me to use this one yet. But on Monday, I'm gonna use this and try it out for like a week and see how it goes. So you have like this weekly dashboard, obviously. What would make this week great? Your top priorities to get closer to your goals, weekly to-do list, workout schedule, habits, reminders, what I'm reading, what I'm listening to. And then you have your week at a glance. So you can kind of just write out for each day, just like if you have anything major going on. And then you have um, the daily planner. So for each day of the week, they have a little planner as well. Your intention for today, workout for the day, self-care of the day, today's schedule, um, top priorities to do, would be nice, that's cute. And then like little reminders. So she has one for like every day. We gotta start planning out for today. So I'm gonna write all this stuff down. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna link her plans down below if you have a ipad definitely recommend starting using this it's so fun i love changing like the pen thickness for what i'm writing one of my favorite things too about writing on good notes is that you can like zoom in so if you find it's hard to write on an ipad like zooming in i find really helps a lot because you can like get real close with what you're doing i love doing this i think it's so fun i don't really have like the best handwriting on the ipad yet i've been practicing and like trying to get better at writing but I find zooming in really helps um, just doing that what should my today's affirmation be guys let's make it M <laughs> I literally blank every time I'm like what am I gonna I'm just gonna make it I am worthy something we always have to remind ourselves three things I am grateful for all of my subscribers. Also, I'm sorry to get her Millie chewing a bone. Millie, obviously, because she's so cute. And I'm grateful for coffee. It was funny, when I was sick, I had like no taste for coffee. And now I'm back on it. So if you take this and you write, you draw like a rectangle, and then you hold it at the end, it'll make it a perfect rectangle. That makes me so happy <laughs> inside. I just think it's so cool. So yeah, I do that all the time. Same with like if you draw like a circle, like I could draw this circle and then hold it. Perfect circle. I just got ready. I haven't been like dressed in an actual outfit in a hot minute because I was sick, obviously, as I told you guys. So I'm wearing a cute fit. I'm wearing this sweater. I love this sweater. I got it when I was in Vancouver. It's from Urban Outfitters and I'm just obsessed with it. It's like this really cool knit pattern. It has like all this distressing on the sleeves. It's just like one of my favorite sweatshirts. And then I'm just wearing some jewelry. I got this little faux, or maybe it's freshwater pearls, I'm not really sure, um, necklace from Princess Polly and I'm obsessed with it. I have my Chelsea one and then the one from Aiden. I have my rings on. Hair is au natural. We're doing the air dried look recently. I want to like embrace my natural weights more this spring and summer and like air dry my hair more. Better for my hair anyways. And I do like my hair texture. I'm just like not as much in love with it in the winter because I hate air drying because it's so cold out. Isn't that better? 
I'm just so pale, I don't know if it's overexposed or if it's just me, you know? I'm like, do I just look like this? For my jeans, I'm wearing these ones from Aritzia. They're the Joni jeans, I think that's what they're called. They're like the high-rise loose-fit jeans. I love these, they're so comfortable. They have like little rips in the knees. Just like loose jeans are where it's at because the comfort is just unmatched. All right guys, I just cleaned my whole apartment and it's looking so much better. The only thing I didn't do was wash the floors, but it's supposed to be like a really gross weekend. As you can see, the weather outside is not ideal and I didn't feel like it was worth washing them because I'm just gonna get dirty again. I'm just gonna wash them on Monday, but everything is looking so much, <laughs> Millie's dog bed. Everything's looking so much cleaner. I literally just reorganized and cleaned everything. I cleaned the sinks, the bathroom. I washed all my bedding, which is like the best feeling. And also because I was sick all week, like I feel like I need to like, I had to wash my bedding just to get like that sickness out of there. Goodbye. <laughs> so got rid of that and everything is just looking so much better. Such a relief. <laughs> I look a little mill over there. It's gonna make a tea right now, I think. Chill out a bit. I kind of want to read. Uh, it's taking me forever to finish the second book in Crescent City. I was like burning through it, but now I don't know. It's not doing it for me the same way that I thought it would. I don't know if I'm just like in a random reading rut all of a sudden, but it's definitely not like doing it for me like i thought it would at least the ending like i'm not as gripped in the ending as i was with the first book i'm gonna try and finish it because i have some other books that i want to get into i'm thinking about reading a thriller next because i've been reading so much fantasy and romance sorry my just blew my nose and now it's really congested so Oh, sorry. These are the books that I have here. So I think I'm going to move on to the Karen Slaughter book next, um, False Witness. I haven't read a thriller in so long. I also got these two little just contemporary romances to read. So I have It Happened One Summer. I know this is a duology, I'm pretty sure. And then I have The Spanish Love Deception. I see both of these like all over social media. So I want to get into these ones as well. But I think I'm going to read the Karen Slaughter book next because I haven't read a good thriller in so long. It is much later. Later, and I've decided that I'm gonna fake tan tonight. I was gonna wait till Sunday, you know, self-care Sunday, but I'm going to the gym tomorrow at my new gym and I don't wanna roll up pale, <laughs> basically. So I'm gonna self-tan. I'm gonna use the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express and the Deluxe Face Tan, leave them both on for two hours, rinse off, and then go to bed. That's the game plan. Um, Cause I don't wanna be pale. I don't like being pale. I feel really pale right now. I need some natural color, but there, of course there's no sun here yet. <laughs> Literally, I'm getting my balcony furniture for the end of the month so that if there's even one nice day in April, I will be sitting outside and getting some sunshine because I feel like I've just been in the dark for so long. Like I need a vacation so badly, guys. It's not even, not even cool how badly I need a vacation. But anyways, that's another note. Are you just licking my slipper? Self-tan Friday. This is my Friday night. Really exciting. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> to fix ourselves at some point today but good morning it's like 7 30 wow how's the dot 7 30 in the morning i have my coffee i have my oats here i'm gonna eat breakfast do a little bit of planning in my planner and then i'm going to head to the gym i'm hoping by 8 30 i'll be there and i'm gonna do an upper body workout i haven't been I've only been to my new gym once and then I got sick, so I haven't been since. <laughs> but I'm finally like healthy enough to go. Like I literally feel fine. I can even breathe through my nose better, which is amazing. And I'm very excited to just go back. It's freezing today. I feel like I always talk about the weather, but it's like winter again. Like why? 
I feel like it's all gonna melt too. Let me just check this good old weather app. Yeah, next Thursday, 14 degrees. So I'm just gonna assume all of this is gone. Also Monday is six. So I don't know why today is freezing. <laughs> it's only negative four, but it literally feels so cold. Like I took Millie on a walk when both were like. But anyways, I finally finished this last night, so I wanted to tell you about it. Oh, I think my memory card's full. Gotta clear that out, one second. I finished How Sky and Breath by Sarah J. Mass, the second Crisis City book. Finally, it took me forever, I feel like. Like, how many weeks did it take me? Three, that's embarrassing. <laughs> well, why did it take so long? It's big, but like, I swear to God, I read like this much of it in uh, like a week and then it took me two weeks to read the last bit because I was just like dragging my feet. Also when I was sick, I didn't read it all. So that's probably has to do with it, but it was really good. There were some parts that were like a little bit, like I felt like weren't necessary, where I was just like, hey. But I really enjoyed it. The ending though, holy shit. I'm not saying anything, obviously, but if you read this, that ending, I'm like, no way, no freaking way. Buckle your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be a crazy ride. Thank you for the good times. I don't even know how long it's gonna be now until Sarah J. Mass releases another book, so. <laughs> I might reread uh, Court of Thorns and Roses this year, though. I'm thinking about rereading it maybe in the summertime. I'm gonna move on to a thriller next. Karen Slaughter's False Witness, that's my plan. But anyways, I'm gonna eat my breakfast now, do my digital planning for this morning, and then, we're gonna go work out. And I'm gonna bring you guys and be really embarrassed in a new gym with lots of people from like, there's like a lot of people there. <laughs> Feels like everyone in um, the West End of Toronto goes to this gym now, which is fine. I'm just like, <laughs> hey, there's too many people. to head to the gym. So I thought I would show you guys just my outfit for today to work out in. All Gymshark, so the sports bra is Gymshark. It's one of my favorites. I love the legacy line with like the old school logo. I just think it's so cute. Then the Adapt seamless leggings. These are my favorite style that Gymshark carries. Literally live for them. I just think that the material is just so nice and thick, but like form fitting and I'm just obsessed. This little crop was from the K KW, I think it's what it's KK or something. Um, collab, so it's like a little cropped hoodie. And I'm just gonna wear one of my Nike sneakers, do my hair in braids, even though they're already like flying out. And off we go. Upper body time. <laughs> I can't believe that you came into my life. You made me feel again. Now it's my turn. You say you've always been a little bit shy But I can put an end to your fears Let me show you a place Where you gon' wanna move your feet Until they start to bleed DJ, take it away Tonight is all for you such a good workout I also just took Millie for like a 30 minute walk her afternoon one and um, it was lovely freezing though it's really cold out but anyways that workout was so good I did a push day so I did I did a push day so I did shoulders triceps and chest and it was a good workout the gym was bumping I missed the gym atmosphere so badly it's just like the best it just motivates me like i love being around other people who are also like just getting their workout in i'm just like yes i love to see it and just the atmosphere was very like 
fun. I was very much enjoying it. So I had a good workout. I'm really excited because tomorrow I have yoga. And I managed to book in for the Pilates class on Monday. So I have that one as well. Super excited to try out the Pilates. I did one outside, like before um, Altea opened and it was really hard like i always feel like i'm super fit and then i tried like a different style of workout like pilates per se which is a lot of core and i'm struggling struggle city so i'm very excited to start incorporating that into my workouts as well so basically my plan or my current fitness plan i need to like really write it out and figure it out um, I'm not like 100% sure yet just because it is a new gym and I've been trying out a lot of like the new stuff that they have there. So obviously I'm doing some yoga. I want to do yoga or Pilates once a week. I'm going to see which one I prefer which is why I'm doing a yoga class tomorrow and then I'm going to try a Pilates class on Monday. If I prefer Pilates I'll just do that once a week. Though a Sunday yoga is quite nice. A little Sunday unwind session. Um, and then I'm also going to try out... At Altea, they have LF3, which is like small group training. So I'm gonna try that as well, I believe, um, this coming week, possibly on Thursday, and just see how I feel about it. If I really like it, I'll probably do some of those classes just because it is fun to have like a pre made workout by a trainer. Very excited. I also feel like I need to go to the grocery store at some point today. I don't really have that much food. I also got one of the protein shakes from Altea, it was pretty good. Kind of expensive though, like I feel like I'll just make them at home. I'm still in my workout clothes. Need to change and get ready. I think I'm gonna put some makeup on. Have some lunch in a bit. It's only 11.30, 11.40. It's crazy when you get up early. Like I've already done so much, I feel like. And it's only not even halfway through the day. All right guys, I sorted out my hair. The bum life it is. And I'm going to get groceries. So let's go get some food. I don't know what I really want. I need to get some like good breakfast food. I wanna get stuff to make smoothies because I wanna start having like a I think I like have my breakfast plan. Like I think I want to have like a piece of toast with an egg on it pre-workout and then post-workout I'll have like a really good smoothie with like berries, banana, oats, protein, all that stuff. So I think that's my game plan. And then I never know what to eat for lunch so that one's a little bit up in the air. But we're going to have a gander at what food's in there. This camera's like dirty. I need to clean this lens guys, I'm sorry. Let's go. All right guys, here's my little grocery haul of what I picked up. It's mainly like breakfast food and some like snacks and some random stuff. So starting over here, I got some Honey Dijon Miss Vicky's. So good, I feel like they're underrated and they're really good, love them. I got three cans of soup just to have for like lunches and stuff. I got some bread. This is like a protein, um, plant-based protein bread. So to have this will be really good in the mornings. It's like toast and stuff. I just got some ranch veggie dip to have with like some cucumbers. I also got this like pre-minced garlic just to keep my fridge because sometimes I find like the good food recipes, like it needs more garlic. Like they'll give you only like one clove. I'm like, I put like four or five cloves in everything I make. So I got some of this just to like add a bit extra garlic to my meals. <laughs> then I just picked up some blueberries and raspberries. I got some banana popsicles just to keep in my freezer for if I ever feel like having something with, just for if I ever feel like having a popsicle. Sometimes I like crave a popsicle at night. And like the banana ones are where it's at. These are the best popsicles. So I got some of these. I got just some more detergent for my washer and some more cleaner. I love the Mr. Clean one, just saying. I feel like it's really good, so I picked up that. I just got some more Starbucks pods, some Brookside's dark chocolate. These are like my guilty pleasure. They're so good. I'm not like a big chocolate person, but these I go crazy for. They're delicious. I just got some pears and some avocados and some bananas. Then I just got the mixed berry little sets to have with smoothies and the bananas as well. Then I just picked up two green juices. I love the turbo one from Pulp and Press. It's so good. So I got two of those and two ginger shots. I'm gonna take one of these now or maybe I'll take one tomorrow morning. I don't know, they're just so freaking good. Then I just got some oat milk. This one's new. They didn't used to carry this at my grocery store, but now they do, and it's the just four ingredients. Oat milk, which is great, none of the additives. Then I just got some protein pasta, some more, some eggs, and that's it. That's everything. 
so many haul. The good food like really serves me for most of my lunches and dinners, so I don't really have to buy much dinner food, which is nice. It definitely saves me money not buying meat or anything like that. So we got it all. We got it all happening right here. I'm gonna put all this away now and clean out my fridge. All right, guys, I'm gonna take this ginger shot. <laughs> oh, I forgot I opened it. Well, oh, that leaked. I'm gonna have to clean that up. <laughs> Not bad. Um, it's like exploding everywhere. These things are like the worst. I'm dripping it all over the floor. <laughs> Let me just clean that up first, just in case. It stains because we rent here, we don't own. <laughs> Down the hatch, I have to do this in two. I can never do it in just one because I am a baby. <laughs> okay. Ooh. It like burns, but it's like a good burn. You know, I'm like, yes. I don't even know what ginger shots do. I just know they're good for you. They like clear your sinuses though, because it's messy. Okay, woo, cheers. Guys, I'm so excited. My headphones just came. I went to let Millie out again, because she, she poops a lot. And I got my headphones. Oh my God, why are these like oh, stuck together? And I'm so excited. So I ordered a new pair of over ear headphones because my pair are literally from like 2016. And they don't really have any noise canceling qualities are kind. I mean, they're really old. I bought them for myself, I think, yeah, like 2016, which is crazy. They're like a birthday present to myself. I thought about the Sonys, but they weren't on sale and this pair was on sale. So I was like, I'm just going to get these ones. So they are the Bose Quiet Comfort 45 headphones, noise canceling. And I liked that these ones had the Aware setting so if you want to wear them say like if i want to wear them to walk millie or something like that there is a setting for aware where you can hear the music but you can still also hear what's going on around you which obviously living in a city that's a lot safer like you want to be able to hear what's going on around you you don't want to be like have no idea because that's not safe so my plan is to use these for like work i'm going to use them to work on my computer when i'm editing or something especially if i'm editing at somewhere like my parents house or Somewhere where it's a little bit more noisy and it's hard to concentrate, I feel like this will make a huge difference. And I'm also gonna use them probably in the gym as well. So they come with this really nice case. Ooh, we have this fancy smancy case. I heard these ones are really lightweight too, which will be nice. Oh, they are super light. Wow. Cool. Okay, so these are them. I'm not really sure what this Stuff is. I think that's just padding. <laughs> and then I think this is the, I don't know what this, this is why one must read directions. But these are then, oh my God. These are really noise canceling. I can't hear anything. <laughs> they actually fit really well on my head. And I have a small head, but I like that these ones like, I feel like I'm yelling, completely cover my ear because my beats don't. They like sit on my ear and they're actually quite painful after a while because they don't like, they're not around the ear, they're like pressing on it. Well, these ones completely cover my ear. And holy crap, I can really tell the noise canceling here because I can't hear anything. So I'm going to need to set these up, I suppose. I don't know if they're charged. I think I'm gonna charge them and then I'm gonna pair it to my phone. <laughs> All right guys, I'm about to get started and making dinner. So I'm making this good food recipe, cheesy beef burgers with roasted potatoes and dill pickle cabbage slaw. Honestly, it looks delicious. So I'm just about to roast the potatoes and it comes with these like really nice buns. Come I mean, let's look at these. And I'm excited to have this dinner. Burgers, I haven't had a burger in like so long. 